Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. Today I'm Doug and today we're gonna make my own recipe. It's just a dish I like to make every now and then. It's uh, a mushroom chicken dish and it has a creamy sauce, so stay tuned. So what are you gonna need for this delicious dish? First of all, you're gonna need some thin sliced boneless skinless chicken breasts. So I got this at uh, Target and I'm only making this for me and Yvonne. So depending on how many uh, people are in your family, then you'll just might have to double it. I am going to use uh, a, this little container of sliced white mushrooms um, right here. Once again, got this at Target. For the noodles, I'm using bonza rigatoni made from chickpeas, so trying to get a little bit healthy here. So this is the chickpea pasta. And we are gonna need some panko crispy breadcrumbs. This is plain, you can use the Italian one, which I actually prefer with this, but I didn't have it, so I'm using the plain. I'm gonna add my own spices to it. And you're gonna need two eggs, flour, uh, sour cream, butter, heavy cream, chicken stock, garlic, and onion. So let's get cooking. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna start with your chicken. So I'm getting my chicken out of here, into the package, and I'm going to kind of cut off some of the uh, pieces that don't look so good. I'm going to also cut this, trying to get because I don't want them that big. So I'm gonna kind of cut them in half. Okay, so I have my chicken here. And what I do is I season both sides. I usually start out with my salt. Just make sure you season both sides. Then I go to my pepper. Okay, then I'm gonna do my onion powder and garlic powder. And my Italian seasoning. We wanna crack our two eggs in the bowl. Gonna beat that up with the fork. All right, so let's start. Remember to always shake off some of that excess flour too. Okay, so I'm heating up my large frying pan. I'm adding some extra virgin olive oil, probably about two tablespoons. We want definitely enough to cover the base. Okay, so I'm gonna start adding my onions. on a medium heat, by the way, medium flame. Now 
And let that lower just a little bit. Let that cook for a couple of minutes. All right, so in this frying pan over here, I'm gonna put on the flame. And we're going to get some extra virgin olive oil again. Fill the base, maybe a little bit more. We're gonna heat this up and we're going to cook our chicken in here. I'm gonna do that separately. All right, so what we wanna do with our chicken is we're gonna cook it for a few minutes on each side. We wanna wait till it gets brown, then we're gonna flip it. And I like cooking my chicken probably around eight minutes or so, eight to 10 minutes total. Um, you really, depending on the thickness. Now, if it's thinner, then it, it will be less than that. You wouldn't need that much time. But these, some of these are a little bit thicker. So, my onions over here are looking good. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to my onions. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. My um, onions and my garlic have been cooking nicely. I'm gonna add mushrooms to my onions and garlic. Give that a good stir, mix in with those onions and the garlic. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, Notice I already added it to the onions, now I'm adding it to the mushrooms. There's a reason for that. Okay, let's take a look at our chicken. Yep, pretty good. Let's flip it. See, it's like a golden brown. Our mushrooms are doing great. We're gonna give our mushrooms about another minute of cooking by itself. Then we're gonna add some chicken stock and heavy cream to it. And we'll be back. Okay, so now for my Mushrooms, I'm adding one cup of chicken stock. I'm gonna give that a nice stir. I'm gonna be adding be adding three fourths of heavy cream, three fourths cup. So this is a half, here's a fourth. Give that a nice stir. One tablespoon of butter. that butter melts. And I'm adding approximately a tablespoon of flour. I'm gonna get a whisk here. And I'm just gonna whisk this in the flour. 
we want to thicken up our sauce. Once it starts bubbling, I'm going to lower it. So I can see it's starting to bubble. So now I'm going to lower it and put it on a simmer. I'm just going to keep stirring it gently like this. Add a little salt. Remember, the salt and pepper is to taste. Same thing with the pepper. I like a lot of pepper. We're going to add a little onion powder and garlic powder to it. Just a little coat on top for both. Give it a nice stir, nice mix. Mmm, yum, look at that. Looks so good. Smells fantastic. Mmm. Mmm, tastes great. Let's take check our chicken. Okay, so our chicken is doing well. it over. I'm going to cook it just about two more minutes and then we're going to cook our second batch and then we're going to add it all together. Stay tuned. Okay, for our sauce, I'm going to whisk in one heaping tablespoon of sour cream. We want to just whisk that in there. Stir it with my wooden spoon. Mm, look at that delicious sauce. Mm, with the mushrooms. It is so yummy. Okay, so I have approximately a fourth, about a fourth of a cup of uh, Parmesan cheese. I'm not going to put all of it in here because I want to use some for a topping. And I'm going to just stir that cheese into the sauce too. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yum. Oh, it's so nice and thick, and it smells great. Mmm. I'm going to turn it off in about a minute. And then we're going to start plating it all. Okay, so let's fix our plate here. I have a little pasta. This is the chickpea pasta on the plate. And I'm getting my chicken and I'm placing it right on top of the pasta. And then I want to get the sauce, which smells and tastes so good. And I'm just going to spoon it over the chicken, just like that. With the mushrooms. Ugh, so good. I'm gonna add just a little Parmesan cheese on top a little bit of parsley, make it look pretty, and there you go. 
Look at that awesome, awesome dish. And now for the taste test. Winston is crying because he is dying to have something to eat. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that home you buy, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye. Thank you.